My car is a 2008 Audi R8 V8. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Supercars of London and the Auto Trader teaser of I Bought One. You may remember that I did a behind the scenes video shoot with Auto Trader for their YouTube channel. This year they're proper ramping it up. They're going to have some fantastic videos so make sure that you head over and subscribe to check out all of the Auto Trader videos that are coming soon featuring my car in satin nardo grey. Check out the teaser of what is to come on my episode of I Bought One. My first car was a 2007 Vauxhall Astra and I always wanted a supercar and through the success of my YouTube channel with uh, sponsorship and advertisement I was able to purchase my first supercar. The Audi R8 was my first choice in a supercar based on the looks, the performance and also the reliability factor. Within the budget that I had, the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis probably weren't as reliable as the Audi R8 so I knew that the R8 had a, the full package for what I wanted for my first supercar. The running costs are a lot higher than my Vauxhall Astra, which <laughs> is a given, but I think the smiles per mile, you can't really beat it. It's a fantastic car. I don't mind filling it up because I know that I'm gonna have a lot of fun when I'm driving. You know what you think about the teaser? Head over to the Auto Trader YouTube channel, click subscribe and check out my episode that has gone live the same time as this video. I'm also gonna leave the video link in the description, but also the link to my behind the scenes content just before I went to Monaco for the Formula One Grand Prix. So I'd like to say a huge thanks to Auto Trader for accommodating me and letting me feature in one of their episodes of I Bought One. What an amazing experience, the crew were amazing and I can't wait to hopefully do some more collaborative work with them as well. So that's it from me and the Satin Nardo Grey R8. I hope you guys are enjoying the daily vlogs as well. I will see you guys soon, so make sure that you subscribe. How and it's so good on the motorways, you can literally use it as an everyday car. It's very comfortable, I've done nine, ten hour drives in the car all at once and it just eats up the tarmac, eats up the miles and it's just a lot of fun, very comfortable. The reality of owning a